Welcome back YouTube, I'm Ahmed again from In-Depth Tech Reviews and in today's video I'm going to show you the best free apps you can download on your iOS device to share your photos and videos in their original quality with non-Apple users. Now let's check the apps but before getting started let's make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified every time I post a new video. So let's jump in. The first app I'm gonna show you here is called Send Anywhere. This app is free and available on iOS, Android, Windows, Mac, Linux, and more, which means you can send and receive files to and from all these devices without any restrictions, and you don't need to install iTunes and go through the syncing process, which is a bit long and complicated. So I have here my Pixel 4 XL, which is an Android operating system, and I'm gonna try to send a few photos from here to here. So I'm gonna just multi-select those five photos and tap on send. And it will automatically give me this uh, QR code on my Android device. I, I go to the receive tab and you will have this QR code icon. And when you tap on it, your camera will start and with a simple step, it will detect the connection. And now my iPhone is sending the files over to my Pixel 4 XL. Keep in mind that this app will transfer your files over through the internet, which means it will consume your data allowance if used on cellular data. So I recommend using Wi-Fi. However, because it transfers the files through the internet, the two devices don't have to be available in the same location or connected to the same Wi-Fi network. So you can share your stuff with anyone, anywhere, and instead of using the camera to scan the QR code, you can send the code showing on the screen to the recipient. And once it's typed in the text box, the data transfer will start remotely. One more thing worth mentioning that Send Anywhere app can allow you even to transfer your data across devices uh, using a link. If you don't have the device in the same location, you can upload your stuff to their own cloud service and then send the link over to any other device to download the stuff. But I don't really trust uploading my data to their own cloud service and that's when Google Photos will come into play. If you didn't know that before, but Google Photos now can allow you to send your photos and videos in original quality to anyone that use Google Photos and signed in with a Gmail account. So all you need to do is to take the Gmail account and save it to your contacts. And if you want to share a photo, just uh, multi-select whatever photos or videos you want and tap the share button and you should see this contact here in the list. And you can even tap on more to see all the contacts that you can send uh, the, the photos and videos to in original quality. So I'm going to choose the account I'm signed in with here and tap on send. and you're gonna give it some time and you should get a notification here with the new photos you received. So if I go to the sharing tab and go to the first conversation and here I have the photos sent over from the iPhone. I can also like those photos or comment on them. So if I like the photo, I should get a notification here that someone liked my photo. As you see here, I can even comment on the photo. And you should get it here as well. So as you see, hi, and I can reply to that. So it's a kind of a really nice feature you can use as well if you don't have the two devices available uh, beside each other. The next app I'm going to show you here is called AnyTrans. It does pretty much the same thing as transfer or send anywhere, but in a different way. It actually sends the files directly to the other phone, which means the internet is not required. However, both devices should be connected to the same Wi-Fi network. So you won't be able to send your files remotely like the Send Anywhere app, but this app will be a lot faster in transferring data and won't consume your data allowance. So I recommend it over the Send Anywhere app for transferring big amount of data. It also works with Android, Windows, and Mac like the Send Anywhere app. So let's see the steps. So as you see here, when I tap on connect to phone, it detects automatically and instantly any phone uh, that uses the app on the same network. And as you see here, my Pixel 4 and also my Pixel 4 can see the iPhone without even scanning any codes or doing anything. 
So if I want to send something, I just go to it and multi-select whatever I want, send, choose the phone, and I get a notification here, receive, and that's pretty much it. So it's even easier to connect the two phones together, uh, and that's the best part about this app. So you can cancel here if you want. So that's pretty much it. Those are the apps I wanted to share with you. When it comes to file sharing apps, the App Store had a lot of options. Most of them are free of a charge and they do everything really well. But those are the best ones I managed to get my hands on. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you like my video. And if you do, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.